we're back home and I kind of rigged something up so I could show you guys the haul from today. Um, we tried to go to this estate sale that with this really beautiful house. Um, it was at the judge's house, which I did pick up a couple things the other day, very few things. Um, and then we went back today to try to get this Epern, Epern or Epernier, I'm not sure how you're supposed to pronounce it, but um, it was gone. And then we looked at this beautiful antique French um, desk, but they sold it for like 500 bucks. Um, and it was worth, I don't know, like she said they, it was valued at 800 or $8,000. Of course, it did have some damage, um, but it was beautiful antique um, writing desk. Anyway, um, so let me jump into this. I have a lot of stuff to show you. Um, so there's Charlie found, I hope you can hear me because I never know when I'm recording these and I hope I'm not too far away. Um, maybe I should be on that side of the table. Yeah, maybe I should. Now that I think about it, I'm probably too far away. Ooh, how do I do this? Maybe I'll push this over there. And then swing this around. Um, I recently had um, my daughter and my daughter-in-law over and they both went gaga over melt glass. I really need my hair done. Um, Anyway, it's happening soon. Um, and we picked up a bunch of really pretty, I think it's Indiana milk glass. It might be Westmoreland. I'll look it up and post a comp um, at the end of the video so you guys can get some ideas on. Some of this stuff is kind of dirty, but it's really beautiful and we'll clean it up. And then um, Charlie wants to keep this because we have some other bisque left in that we have a little collection going, but this little beautiful swan is all hand painted. It is from Japan. Um, the roses are all in really great condition and we got this for like a dollar twenty-five. Um, just really beautiful. Maybe this light is not such a good idea. The shadows are terrible. I should have had the light up higher. Anyway. Um, anyway, hopefully you guys can see this stuff and not me so much. But it's really pretty. Um, here is some of the melt glass. So I watched a video on melt glass. It has like stickers all over it. It has multiple different prices. I hope we got the good price. Um, I'm sure we did. Um, this was from, uh, the majority of this haul was from Justice. Uh, and they are having two estate sales uh, next week, one in Moore, Oklahoma, and one in Mustang, and so support them. They are great people. They have like their whole family working for them, and we love Miss Pippa, my bestie. Um, she she always looks out for me and um, points me into finding some of the greatest things. Um, and I send her pictures when I get home and put it, end up keeping stuff. And, you know, like I'll show you one of the things I'm oh, that I'm going to be keeping from this haul, but. Um, so I have a huge haul. I'm trying to decide, and you guys let me know in the comments, what do you think? Um, so sometimes we'll sell things as a set, like when it all matches and it's all together to keep it together. There is a huge amount of this melt glass that is all the same, you know, type and brand. It is this grapes. I, I think this is Westmoreland. Now that I do look at it more, um, so the more expensive melt glass is the kind that you cannot see through because what it was, it was started like in the depression or whatever to try to mimic um, ceramic or porcelain. And I am sorry that my dogs do this. Every time I get on the video, they start fighting. They're actually just play fighting. They're like wrestling. And it seems like my husband goes away so he's not there to correct them and make them stop. And so then you hear them wrestling in the background, so I apologize. But they're really not hurting each other, they're just playing. Um, so, here's the pitcher. Let's see. Oh, that's not. This is something totally separate. This is a Francoma um, butter dish that I found. 
So Francoma is like an iconic Oklahoma thing. It's There's a factory. I don't believe it is um, active anymore, so it's very collectible. Um, really beautiful clay or stoneware. Um, check out these giant melt glass glasses. So I think there are either six or eight of these. several of these. However, every time I've had a party or a baby shower for one of my kids' friends or whatever, I have used these. Um, I have a couple clear ones. I think I have a pink one. Did I buy that pink one? And then, but the girls are all loving this green glass right now. They're, people are painting their kitchens green. Like green is just really hot right now. So I went ahead and picked up this, um, little snack or a veggie tray in green. I think it'll do really well. Actually, it looks really great with that dogwood. Uh, how cute that is. That's adorable. off today. So you see a sticker, this one says $10. So we would have paid $250 for this. And I can't remember. I'll try to throw comps up like I usually do either at the end or I'll break up the video um, and show you comps. Or I may have already showed you depending on if I showed you when I picked it up when I was in the store. Um, this is, I will be keeping this for myself most likely um, because it's pink and pink is for me. Um, so this is a butter dish or dome or a cheese dish. Um, it says pink recollection. I don't know what brand that is. Indiana glass. Okay. There we go. New in the box. I've never seen girls. No, no, no ma'am. No. Um, I've never seen Indiana glass in the box. So. That's kind of cool. It's really pretty. Um, so, we're on the pink. My pretty pink glass. So, um, 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 I don't know where I'll put it though. That might be a problem. I might need a new hut. I don't know. Um, so. Let me go put it back in the box for now. That's for me. Oh gosh. This is really heavy. Oh my gosh. Oklahoma Sheriff discussed killing reporters. I don't know what's going on in there. Um, oh, okay, the, look at this beautiful. Okay, so these are the milk glass like snack plates. So there's like a little indentation so where you put like your cup or, um, and then this is so like the ladies would have a little luncheon or be playing bunko or whatever, and they'd have their little snack. These would be great for a baby shower or bunko or whatever little get together, wedding shower or whatever. Um, so, Charlie found these, actually, all this matching. And this is really, like, high quality milk glass. Like, you cannot see through the light through it or anything. It's really nice. Box down. Ready to go. Oh, 
check this one over. Okay, and I also found a bunch of, I mean, we're not through all the milk glass, but I'll pull it out as I find it. I also found a bunch of Fostoria. So this cut specifically is, this is also very Americana, um, kind of coming out of the depression. This is pressed glass, but this design, it's got this cube shape and I personally love this. So I don't know if I will sell this and I probably should, but um, I just love all things Americana. So, um, and there's a lot of this that we found. So we'll see. Um, I found this, which is like a milk or big creamer. And this goes to, we actually have the uh, cookie jar. It's McCoy. And we have the cookie jar that probably came out of the same sale. It's just, they have so much stuff at this warehouse um, that sometimes a box comes from like an estate sale closed and stuff didn't sell. So they box it all up. They put it in the warehouse and they might pull one box from that estate sale, but they didn't pull all of them um, to come out at the same time. And so we keep coming back and I'm like, wait a minute, that came from that same estate sale, but now it's months later and I'm finding the other pieces. So it's kind of cool because you just never know. And then you can kind of reunite them. So this goes to, it's um, this is the monkey because I have the koala and bamboo uh, canister uh, that has a little mushroom on the top. So I may reshoot them together or link the two um, posts, like put a link in the description and say, hey, I have another piece of the set um, for sale. So that's kind of exciting. See, more Fostoria. Oh, and then while I was busy shopping and picking Charlie's up wrapping and talking to our friend Miss Pippa and he was telling her they were talking about like what's been selling and whatever and he told her that I was bidding on these pots um, and pans but I missed out on them and somebody else got them but they're called salad master and she said she told this story about how when she was 16 years old and she got her first job her mom told her, made her go to the department store and put um, her first set of salad master pans, pots and pans on layaway. And they were like $1,800 or something. And she still has them and they still are in great condition. It's the only thing she'll cook in. And he said, um, he said her mom told her to do it and her sisters. And um, they're still, they're just really valuable. If you ever see salad master pots and pans, pick them up. Um, they're very valuable, which that is such a weird thing for pots and pans, salad master. But, I've never actually seen one in the wild. I've only seen them on TV or online. This is really beautiful. It's an anchor hawking uh, bowl, that pretty green. Um, that the kids are all in love with right now. I'll just put it inside my hall. Bowl. And I was excited to find a couple, just two. I found two little Capo Diamante pieces. I think I showed up to you earlier in the video when, while I was shopping. Um, This was really beautiful too. I know I showed you this. This was that Fenton um, carnival glass and it's from 1970. It is that deep cobalt blue, which is really uh, valuable or more valuable. And then it has that great iridescent. It's never been washed or anything. Um, they Sometimes people will buy pieces that have the iridescent and then they'll use them like in their everyday whatever serving. And then they run through the dishwasher or wash them with harsh detergents and then it wears off that iridescent and that is just terrible. So it's really great when you can find a piece that has such great 
detail. Fenton is, uh, you know, the more desirable lines versus like Indiana glass or, um, I don't even know what some of the other ones are in the carnival glass. And then to have the iridescent too is really valuable. I don't know what this picture is though. I did think that was strange. It's some kind of like cobbler guy or something. It's kind of strange. Okay, and Miss Pippa called me out. She goes, you say you're not a bell girl, but like every time you've been here, you've picked up a bell the last few times. And this time I picked up two bells. So she's right. But I'm really not a bell girl. But I do own like three bells now. I don't, I, I don't know what's happening. I don't, I don't know how it happened. But I'm keeping this one too because it's Capo Diamante. I don't know what's happening. Maybe that's how you become a bell girl. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, these are the little cups that go on the little plate. How cute is this? And then you have a little party with your friends and you all sip tea and have cake and cookies and talk about people. I don't know. Seems like fun. When Charlie was done wrapping, his hands were so dark and dirty from all the ink. He was, they were like, come, well, kind of like mine are getting. blue depth tile that we got um, these were selling for like $50 I thought that was pretty cool that I picked up probably at their store 
and then I just found the other one. So maybe they were set originally and I'm gonna reunite them, but I have to find it. I think it's in my office in the um, closet. Just kind of excited about that. This is a Westmoreland, um, cause I looked it up before. It's really beautiful. Um, And that was like one of my early, early pickups, like one of the first times I ever went there. don't know if you guys remember in one of the past videos, but pretty recently I picked up a um, butter and the salt and pepper shaker of this Liberty um, pattern and the lady had gotten the um, dining, the big dinner plates. Um, and I was looking at it. They aren't really expensive, but they're beautiful. It's blue and white. It's Americana. And so I went ahead and since today it was 75% off, I picked up um, enough to make like the rest of the set for, there were eight um, cups in really good condition. So I got eight saucers. I got eight saucers and eight cups. And then I got four lunch plates. Maybe that's it. We'll check. We're about to find out. ton of phosphoria, like so much. the other bell. I am going to sell this one though. This is a bleak um, from Ireland. It is strange. It does not have a clapper or a clatter, um, but it's very delicate. Like it's porcelain. You can like see the light through porcelain, which it's really ironic. So in melt glass, the more expensive melt glass, you can't see through, but in porcelain, you want to be able to see the light through the more delicate porcelain. No. Um, so that's really beautiful. Okay. Oh, and then I had gotten one of these the other day. 
I'm not even sure if I got it at the warehouse or if I got it at a house. I think, I kind of think I got it at a house and they're anchor hawking. It did, I did. I got it at the house where I got my new Metlock um, cup and saucer uh, or my Metlock dining set. And so I got two of these at the warehouse and they're anchor hawking. Um, gosh, my hands are so dirty from that ink. Um, tea cup and saucer. And these, um, the Liberty pattern, the teacup and saucer are selling for 10 to $12 for a teacup and saucer. And we paid $2. So like a dollar for the cup and a dollar for the saucer. So two into 12, it's not bad. Um, and just glass but it's really beautiful and I was watching um was it Dr. Lori I think it was Dr. Lori and she said she really thinks that um cut glass or clear is going to come back and start trending make a pretty plate and a table. Oh, and this is like very old German um, I think this sold for $50 at an auction recently, um, or one like this. Just this one mug has gold on it and this really strange handle. Mm, I should have put that here. Maybe I can. And I would pronounce the town in Germany, but I can't. But it's from.
is a, okay, I was just looking at this. I was looking at one of these online because I thought it was Rook. Um, oh gosh, now I'm just, Rook, what, Rookware? Rookwood? Um, but this is Crooks. Crooks. Something Crooksville. And yeah, Crooksville. I have Velour by Crooksville. And this sells for like 50 bucks. Just this one plate. Oh, there, I had it <laughs> the wrong way. But isn't that darling? And it's like Pennsylvania Dutch style is what they said. Um, Hand-painted Pennsylvania Dutch Crooksville. And made in the USA. So cute. Another beautiful serving, cross story serving piece. I just love that. I think it's so pretty. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. I just love this. Two, four, six. A little cream or sugar. Another bigger cream or sugar. A serving bowl, a little bowl, like a berry bowl. Then these little like vases, which I don't know what you did that. This serving bowl. But then there's only like four luncheon plates. Four uh, cups and saucers. I hope you can hear me. Four cups and saucers, four luncheon plates, two big serving platters. Put one in the middle. Look at these beautiful serving pieces. Like, those are beautiful. Okay, now I know I'm out of room. I'm gonna have to stack some keep up because I forgot I ran into all this marigold um, Indiana glass. Some of it is not Indiana. Some of it is this Dugany. Dugany. I don't know how to say it. I'm going to have to educate myself. Um, this is way more rare though. Um, and the pattern on it is really beautiful. It's got, it's like the, you know, when you find the Fenton versions and they have way more detail. Um, 
really beautiful and they have great iridescent on them. They're really well cared for um, and beautiful scalloped edge. Um, I don't know if the iridescent's coming across on the video as well, but just beautiful. And this one's called, what did she write on here? Daffodil, something daffodil. Um, but so pretty, double handled pedestal. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to back things up. Let me see. Let me see if I can move around. Oh gosh, there's a lot of really breakable stuff over here. start putting the stuff over here. Okay. I think this will work. Just have to make some room. Always room for more glass. Okay. There, now I can start making more room for glass. Um, this one, I believe, is another one of those Duganese or whatever Dugany. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. I did not look this one up yet, but it has like cherries on the pattern. It's really pretty, beautiful iridescent, double handle. Um, I'll show you this one in a minute. This one, I looked up the other day when I was there and it's like a dragon scale pattern. And I believe this one was going for $45. Um, it's not like a huge glass bowl, but it was, it's more rare. I guess they didn't do a lot of the dragon scale ones or something. Um, and it is in the marigold color. Uh, it has a great iridescent, but it's kind of cool. This one has, a, so it has peacocks and grapes in it. I don't know if you can see those. And it does have the iridescent marigold. It has this like little footed shape on the bottom. Um, I don't see a marking, so I will have to confirm what brand this is by looking it up. But whoever had this collection took really good care of it. Then there were two of these large uh, footed, and they have like a claw and ball footed um, of the marigold iridescent butterfly bowls. And then there were six of these smaller matching bowls to go with. So I kind of think it's like a fruit set, like you would put your fruit in that and then you serve people individual bowls, um, but I'm excited because I would have two of these really big ones. I'm 
just think they're beautiful. This one's a little bit different. Um, this one, the cut on it is really sharp. Uh, and I don't know if that's just the pattern um, because it's that starburst pattern, but the edges are really sharp on it. It's really beautiful too. this and get this up on the store. Um, I think this orange carnival glass is going to be so beautiful. Look at that. Look at the color in that and the iridescent. It's just gorgeous. was the last bowl that I found and oh it's on my phone um this is a very rare bowl oh I can't remember the name of it um I'll put a comp at the end uh, so that'll be how I end the video but it's got like this other so it's like fused glass they take another color and put it to the bottom um but I want to find beautiful like this craftsmanship is amazing i think it's so cool to find this kind of art uh, in america like it's really beautiful great condition and um just little treasures that we find when we're out looking for treasures in america um gosh i'm almost out of room uh to try to take the camera and give you guys a once over I'm gonna try to get up and give you like a once over shot of everything from today oh. <laughs> well that's just me um, here will it end on everything from today thanks for watching you guys please like and subscribe and um, check out the store. Uh, we'll have a new coupon out starting February 1st. And we ha still have the 10% off when you buy three or more items on eBay right now. And um, this stuff should all be out within the next week or so, but it will probably be out for like our Valentine or sweetheart sale um, for February. So Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you come with us on all our adventures for the Mighty Merchants. Take care.